Hello and welcome to another Albion Online Dev Talk. This is our second of four Dev Talks for our upcoming update, Beyond the Veil. And we know a lot of you have been waiting for this Dev Talk specifically for quite some time. Today, we'll be talking about one of the biggest feature releases in Albion's history, the Mists. When Beyond the Veil arrives, curious Will-O-Wisps will be found exploring the roads of Avalon and the open world of Albion. These mystical beings are timid and easily frightened, and when approached will likely retreat, using their power to traverse great distances toward their home in the mists. Though this portal is only open for a short time, adventurous souls can chase after them and find themselves in an extraordinary realm and within Albion's new solo and duo player open world experience. Portals to the mists are extremely volatile and close after one use, ensuring only a single player may enter through the portal at a time. More powerful Will-O-Wisps, however, can create slightly more stable portals to the Greater Mists that allow up to two people to enter, but these two types are kept completely separate, so solo players will never encounter duo players. Upon entering a Mists region, players find themselves in a mysterious place full of known and unknown dangers. Magical creatures inhabit this place natively, and you'll find that you're not the only one exploring here. Many of Albion's factions have also found their way here, and this new place has not done away with old hostilities. The heretics and Morgana alike have been trying to exploit the power within the mists and can be seen capturing wisps to study them for their own nefarious ends. And the undead? Well, they've been here all along. Fortunately, enemies won't be the only thing you'll encounter within the mists. Though most regions here aren't quite as rich in rewards as the outlands, successful adventurers will always be able to find wealth. You'll be able to find treasures similar to those found in the open world. Gatherers will be able to find both enchanted and unenchanted resources in a variety of forms. The unfamiliar creatures you'll find here are just as curious as the mists themselves. While some can provide heights, much like in the rest of Albion, you'll also encounter three special creatures. The griffin is just as agile as it is ferocious, quick to prey on unsuspecting adventurers. The mist crawler is equally dangerous, but an industrious crafter can find use for its resilient carapace. Finally, the fey dragon may look innocent and alluring, but its mastery of wild magic makes it just as dangerous an adversary as any other within the mists. Some mist regions are enchanted and carry greater rewards at the cost of greater danger. Similar to enchanted solo dungeons, the enemies here will be more powerful, but yield more fame and riches. While the enchantment level of the mists is known upon entering, there's also an unknown element of chance. Each time you enter, you have a chance to find a rare mist that contains higher tier enemies and more lucrative rewards. Finally, of course, there's the danger of other players. The mists have both non-lethal and lethal areas, while the greater mists are universally lethal. For this reason, entrances to them can only be found in similarly lethal areas throughout Albion. All areas in the mists exist far beyond the rule of law, and whatever happens there doesn't affect one's reputation back on the royal continent. That means players are free to engage each other at will, but you'll have to be smart about it, as you'll have full access to your mount, making escape easy if one stays alert. And since everyone within a mists region came through their own portal, everyone within is on their own and cannot count on the backup of their guild or alliance. Even if players group up on the spot or encounter a friendly face, such groups will be torn apart as tides of the mists rise and recede in a constant state of flux. Eventually, any region will be consumed by the growing mists. If you're quick, you can follow the Will-O-Wisps as they flee to their next place of refuge. If you're not, you're likely to become lost in the mists and will find yourself returned to the place you first entered. If you do choose to explore the mists despite the dangers and competition from other players, you will also have an opportunity to discover the fate of the Will-O-Wisps who have become endangered by the sudden influx of outsiders, 
and you'll find many of them in need of aid. Helping them will earn you their gratitude, though you'll have to find out for yourself if the gratitude of wisps has any tangible value. As you can see, the mists are an all-around open-world-like experience, full of PvE, PvP, new opportunities to seize and mysteries to discover, all within a space dedicated completely to solo and duo play. We hope that you've enjoyed this first look at the mists, and we look forward to getting this feature to you later next month. Whether you're after fame, fortune, or delving deep to uncover secrets, we hope you'll enjoy this brand new adventure in Albion Online.